What up, y'all? It's the Kid Forward, Fabian Big Boss Fabian. I'm back with a video for the channel. We're actually doing a reaction to 6 9 Body featuring Lenye. I don't even know who this dude is, but official music video dropped today. Number 17 on trending for music. So, who would have thought Takashi 6 9 would be dropping music in this day and age? But, um, I mean, I think it's smart from a marketing perspective because he knew he just got beat up, right? He just got beat up, so he knows that his name's already in the media. Why not drop a record, build off the buzz? So one thing people do say about Takashi is that he knows how to market in, you know, uh, an interesting way. You know what I mean? He's always trying to do like skits. He's always doing, um, you know, just pretty much turning up what we've known him for, basically doing Internet stuff. bro. So uh, I guess we just hop into the video. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this. Uh, it's a Spanish song, though, I believe. And I don't even know if I'll be able to understand anything he's saying, though. All right, let's get it. Body. Is he trying to say Boricua or no? Hoy quiero confesarme, confesar mi pecado. This fool. Quiero contarle mi historia, que a nadie se la he contado. Cuando tenía siete años, mamá y papá se separaron. Fueron pocos los momentos buenos y fueron muchos los momentos malos. Yo nunca tuve juguete, a mi Santa Claus nunca me dio regalo. Yo solo tuve una guitarra sin cuerda y un micrófono de palo. Aprendí de los falsos amigos. Aprendí a ignorarlo. He making it so dramatic, bro. <laughs> Aprendí a ignorarlo. Him in the hospital and all that. He got to do all the clips from the hospital. He making it so dramatic. Like, buddy could have lost his lifetime. I mean, he got beat up. I don't know if he got beat up that bad, bro. But anyways, y'all. What y'all think? I don't know what he's saying. He said, aprendido. Yeah, that mean he going to get it, right? I'm going to, like, acquire or something. Apprehend? I don't even know, bro. Um, with that being said, though, this is smart. Tapping into the Latin market. He said, let me get away from hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Let me do the reggaeton. That's smart, though, because them fans, they don't really care too much about your street credibility. I mean, some of them do. There's some street artists that are from that culture. Don't get it twisted. But uh, I just don't think they're really too worried about what hip hop's worried about when it comes to 6 9 Trato, pero siempre caminé con los pies sobre la tierra porque no tuve zapatos. Sufrir me tocó a mí en esta vida. Oh, he says zapatos. I know he's saying something about he ain't had no shoes back in the day. I guarantee that's what he's talking about, like his tough upbringing. Llorar cuando ni lágrimas tenía. Pero siempre supe que mi suerte llegaría El chamaquito del barrio La leyenda viva Cuando no había pan para desayuno Me conformaba Cuando no había carro caminaba Antes me sentía el dueño de todo Ahora... This is what he said he went He got a Puerto Rican flag on But they saying this is when he went to Cuba though I'm tripping. Now that's the Cuban flag. I'm a corn dog. Puerto Rico flag looks similar somewhat. It's kind of the same flag. Cuba. Oh, the Cuba flag is alternate. The Cuban flag was designed in 1845 by Narciso Lopez. The Puerto Rican flag designer was adopted by a committee of exiles living in New York during the 1890s. So the Cuban flag came first. The Puerto Rican flag, they kind of, I guess they got inspired. They, they, they flipped the colors. The color code is opposite. That's hard though. Might as well just show y'all what I'm looking at. Y'all see that? The color code 
if you look at it, that's Cuba and Puerto Rico. It's the same design, but the color code is completely swapped. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. That boy smoking that shit. Nunca ganaba y ahora en este juego soy la ficha que faltaba. Pero mi padre a mí me cuida desde arriba. Y por el buen camino él me guía. Y yo solo le pido que me dé salud. Y bendición para mi familia. He doing it for his family, you hear me? Hey, you cannot doubt that 6 9 don't get back to his community, man. And say what you want about it. A lot of people will see this and be like, man, he's just trying to do it for clicks. He's just trying to do it for views, likes. It's not genuine, but he's been known to always do this type of stuff. Cuba. She bad though. Lenier, who is this dude? From Cuba, Guinness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he a heavyweight in this thing. Lenye, musical artist from Cuba. Bro won some Grammys too, though. Okay, my dude. I see you, my boy. Okay, my brother. Six nine body feature Lenier. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm trying. I'm saying it all French, Lenier. <laughs> uh, but wow, okay. I mean, six nine being a philanthropist. The whole video, he giving back to the community. I'm just not surprised to see it. He's done that in other video. Another video he did it. I think he did it in Mexico, or something like that. But I mean, he's always been one to do these type of things. You know. Um, Hate six nine all you want, but you can't say he don't like try to give back in some sense. So what y'all think about the song though? I think it was from a place of point of struggle. I didn't have a translator, but I think I understood the sentiment of the song. I think it's a cool song. I mean, it is what it is, my brother. It is what it is, sir. Um six nine, he trying to make a comeback. Hey, this is what he needs to do. Take the whole reggaeton route. Leave the hip hop records behind, bro. Quit collabing with Nicki Minaj and these kind of artists. Collab with every reggaeton artist that was willing to work with you. A lot of them won't, though. A lot of them won't, though, because a lot of them come from the street. Not a lot of them. I know some of them come from the street. And they live off the same certain principles that they don't respect 6 9 for. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think that it's a possibility. I know that Enwell didn't want to work with him again because he didn't want to uh he didn't want to associate with a rap. You know, he's just not cool with homie. But they had that song before he snitched, before Six Nine snitched. Uh I don't know, I think it's called Bad Bad or something like that. That song went crazy. <laughs> they had the potential to make good music together, but nowadays he don't want to work with him again. So that's my point. Some artists, they're already distancing themselves from 6 9 But what 6 9 need to do is he needs to take time to go the reggaeton route. Make songs with them artists that want to collaborate with you. Do all your records in Spanish, bro. It's over. Game over with. I'm telling you, 6 9 will run. He be running it. But anyway, let me know y'all's thoughts in the comment section below. Peace, love, prosperity. We'll, count. we'll catch you guys in the next video, man. We out.